In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, God's beloved people. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Amban Njume. Today is Thursday, the 18th of January, 2024. It is Thursday of the second week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 18, verses 6 to 9, and chapter 19, verses 1 to 7. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 56. The response to the psalm is, In God I trust, I shall not fear. The gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. I read from the first reading. In those days, as they were coming home, when David returned from slaying the Philistine, the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with timbrels, with songs of joy, and with instruments of music. And the women sang to one another as they met Mary. Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very angry, and this saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day on. And Saul spoke to Jonathan his son and to all his servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David, and Jonathan told David, Saul, my father, seeks to kill you. Therefore, take heed to yourself in the morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself, and I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will speak to my father about you. And if I learn anything, I will tell you. And Jonathan spoke well of David to Saul his father, and said to him, Let not the king sin against his servant David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have been of good service to you. For he took his life in his hand, and he slew the Philistine. And the Lord wrought a great victory for all Israel. You saw it, and rejoiced. Why then will you sin against innocent blood, by killing David without cause. And Saul listened to the voice of Jonathan. Saul swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be put to death. And Jonathan called David, and Jonathan showed him all these things. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Blood is thicker than water Yet truth is thicker than blood Blood is thicker than water Yet truth is thicker than blood Dear good people of God the above is an expression we often use to support how much one is tied and connected by blood to relations over non-blood relations. One finds it almost hard to treat a non-blood relation as they would a blood relation. Sometimes even blinded to see the faults and to act justly when it concerns blood relations. Even if one's child was truly guilty of a said crime, 
one tries to defend them and to exonerate them from punishment. This is because they are blood. But they may not do the same for another, not related to them by blood. Of course, because blood is thicker than water. The way you will feel for a blood relation may not be the same you will feel for someone who is not a blood relation. True, we may want to love because God has asked us to love. But again, to be very honest, even if we love non-blood relations, the amount of love we show to blood relations may not be the same. However, today's first reading presents a man who gives us another dimension of this reality. If blood is thicker than water, then truth is thicker than blood. When truth and honesty are concerned, it is not about blood. It is about God. And God is above any human blood relationship or friendships. So regardless of who or what, if it is not true, if it is not good, then it is not of God and should be avoided and must be denounced. Jonathan would not support his father Saul in his evil plot to eliminate David simply because it was his father. He has to align with him. After all, is it not said that blood is thicker than water? No. What his father wants to do is wrong. It is bad. It is evil. And Jonathan, his son, will not support his father simply because it was his father. Truth is truth. Goodness is goodness. And who or what opposes these must be condemned whether they are blood relations or not. Truth and goodness represent God, and whoever is against truth or goodness is against God. So you will not support a blood relation when they are against God. No. Choose God. Choose what is true. Choose what is good. Sometimes, too, we cover up evil because we are loyal to friendships and relationships over what is true and over what is good. Can we remain friends based on the truth and what is good? Can I look at you into your eyes and tell you the evil you did, refuse to be part of it, yet we remain friends? Can you look at me into my eyes and tell me the evil I did, refuse to be part of it, yet we remain friends? It is almost impossible in our world. We think because we are related by blood, or because we are friends, we must be partners in crime. And this explains why, when someone decides not to align with you in the evil you want to do, we take them to be enemies. We hate them. Loyalty to blood, loyalty to friendships and relationships have taken priority over truth, over goodness, and over God. People will see evil, but burn their hands to cover and defend it and call it good or let the evil happen because they want to be loyal. Saul is Jonathan's fa father. Yes, they are related by blood. Yes, but Jonathan will not support his evil. My father means to kill you, Jonathan told David. How many will do this? How many will dare to say this? Betray your father to your friend because what your father wants to do is evil? Call Jonathan a black leg if you care. Call him a betrayer if you want. Call him one who prides friendship over blood. And Jonathan will tell you, blood is thicker than water. Yes, but truth is thicker than blood. How often, dear friends in Christ, have we betrayed truth because of loyalty to blood and friendships? How often have we seen goodness and we denied to accept it because we want to be loyal to friendships and to blood relationships? Let us learn from Jonathan. What is good is good. What is true is true. And what is evil is evil, even if it comes from a blood relation. Yes, blood is thicker than water. But when it comes to truth, when it comes to goodness, when it comes to God, truth 
goodness and God are thicker than blood. Let us remain true. Let us remain focused on what is good and what is right and not pride ourselves over blood relationships or friendships. For anything that is human and that is not in line with God is not correct and must be denounced. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and be another Jonathan. Do not just align with people because they are blood relations or friends. Stay focused on what is true, what is good, and what is of God.